Good day folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at momentum, the graphs of momentum. Um, let's cut the chase. Um, you have an arrow and a target dot there. The arrow is traveling with a speed of 20 meters per second um, to the right, which is right as positive. And it travels with an initial speed of 20 meters per second and its final velocity is zero because it's stuck in the target dot so which is the initial velocity is 20 the final velocity is zero now in that when you show that graphically graphically um, it's a velocity time graph velocity time graph um, this is, will be your initial velocity it's 20 let's say that is 20 and another 20 there the negative 20 and then when the, the 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 arrow is moving and then it's stuck in the dot its initial velocity decreases to what to zero so this is 20 this is 20 the initial velocity and this will be the final velocity which is um zero and this is the time it took let's say this is t1 from here to here it was the t is the time it took from the initial velocity 20 up until the final velocity zero now now when we look at this scenario of this dot that is embedded we call it it's embedded it's embedded in the target dot when it's stuck there the arrow is embedded or stuck in the dot so it will have initial velocity and its final velocity there's no change in direction there now guys let's look at this in terms of in terms of momentum the momentum time graph and then this will be time now we have to calculate its initial velocity the initial sorry the initial momentum um, let's say this target it's 2 kg so it's going to be the mass which is 2 times the velocity which is 20 the 20 is positive the initial velocity that will be 40 kg meters per second and the answer is positive that means to the right now let's calculate its final momentum uh, it's going to be 2 times what um, times what zero the final velocity is zero so it's going to be what zero so it simply means that the momentum the initial momentum there it's going to be what 40 it's 40 and then its final momentum there it will be zero right guys it's very important to know here this is a change in velocity this is the time of the what of the impact this is the contact time it's the time that it was in contact with that let's write it this is the impact or collision and there's a change in what in velocity there right and even here in this graph in the momentum time graph this is the initial momentum and this is the final what momentum so if you look at this part here this is a change in what in change in momentum right and in in, in this part guys in here you will find um, this is the contact time from this time to this time let's say this is t1 and this is t final so the difference here in this time it's the contact time which is it's a what it's the contact time of the impact it's the contact time of that impact when they when they when the when the arrow stuck in the in the dot when the velocity decreases from 20 to 0 the time it took which is it's the contact time it's a change in t even same applies here in this graph this is the contact time and there's a change in momentum in this side is what in change in velocity once there's a change in velocity there's a change in momentum these two graph guys they represented the same thing but this one in terms of velocity this one in terms of momentum here yeah. so um, this is the contact time as well this is t1 t final so here 
it's the what it's the contact time it's the collision it's the collision here right let's look at another scenario guys in another scenario it's the arrow now moves through or is emerging the arrow is emerging which is it passes through the target dot so the initial velocity of the arrow is it's 20 and we choose right as positive remember and then it passes through so while it passes through as it is emerging there in the target dot there's a decrease in velocity so the velocity decreases from 20 to 10 so that's the final velocity so guys remember once there's a change in velocity that means there's a change in um there's a change in momentum right so now graphically okay before before okay let's plot the graph of what velocity time graph velocity time graph the velocity time graph we have the initial velocity that is 20 guys another thing that is important about the graph this it's a positive direction this one it's a negative direction right it's a positive and it's a negative that means this is to the right and this one is to the left right so here's 20 here's 20 there it's 20 and then the velocity decreases to what decreases to 10 it decreases to what to 10 so this is going to be what this is going to be 10 so guys this is 20 and this is what 10 so this velocity decreases in the same direction the final velocity is still positive in the same direction right so um this is the initial this is the initial velocity and this is the final velocity so here guys the difference here it's when the velocity change so this is t initial and this is t final so here here let me use the highlighter here it's a what uh, there's a change change in what in velocity which is it's a delta v and here there's a what there's a contact time there this is the time where um here this difference in time this is where um the the, the arrow was emerging it's the time it was emerging through the target dot now guys let's look at this scenario in a momentum momentum versus time graph momentum versus time graph now we have to calculate the initial momentum the initial momentum our mass of the arrow we said it's 2 kg uh, let's use the formula m v i so it's 2 kg times the velocity 20 which is going to be what 40 still the same but the direction of the momentum is what is to the right because it's positive right and um, and the final momentum we take the mass we multiply by the final velocity which is 10 which is positive 10 it's going to be what 20 kg meters per second it's still going in the same direction to the right so now let's plot that graphically the initial velocity it's going to the right which is it's going to we're going to plot it above there so it's it's what 40 right that's the initial velocity a decrease initial momentum sorry this is the initial momentum which is what it's 40 and it decreases to what to 20 it decreases to 20 here's the decrement to what to 20 in the same direction in the same direction do you see this graph um they they show you the movement or the motion of um the, the the arrow but in terms of momentum and the other in terms of velocity so this is the final momentum and here is a change in momentum and also you can get the change in time which is the contact time of the arrow and the dot when it was emerging when it was passing through so this is t1 
and this is Tewat final. Right, guys, let's look at the last scenario. The last scenario, scenario, it's when the arrow it bounces back or it rebounds. So the the dart was thrown at a velocity. The arrow it was thrown at the velocity of twenty meters per second to the right. It's positive as you can see, and then it hits the the dart the the the, the target dart, and then it rebounds in an opposite direction. So when it rebounds in an opposite direction, it changes. Um, its velocity its velocity decreased now now it's very important here it's very important to plot the graph for that the velocity time graph so we have what we have let's say we have there we have 20 that's 20 and another 20 so 10 is going to be here and 10 here right so um, the velocity time graph it was traveling at 20 meters per second and then while it's it's still uh, while it's in contact the the arrow it goes there and it hits the target dart and then it goes back so while it was in contact the its velocity decreases to what to zero its velocity quickly decreased to zero so this is the initial velocity which is what 20 and then it decreases to zero and then it increases in an opposite direction again to what to 10 to 10 meters per second and then it became constant like that so this is the final velocity which is what 10 meters per second uh, meters per second in an opposite direction remember this is the positive direction, this is the negative direction, initial direction, opposite direction. So guys, um, if you're looking here in this graph, if you're looking here in this graph, this is the change in velocity. This is the contact time when the dot and an arrow was in contact momentarily. This is the time it took for them to be in contact so this is the t initial and this is t what final if you want the contact time um now let's look at the momentum momentum versus time graph now we have to calculate the momentum because the only thing that we know here is the what it's their it's their velocities so the initial momentum here it's mv initial it's to the mass and the velocity it's still what 20 it's going to be what 40 kg meter per second and to the right because the answer is positive and the final momentum um it's two multiply by the final velocity it's negative what 10 so the answer is going to be negative 20 kg meters per second and that negative 20 it means it's 20 kg meters per second to the left which means there's a change in direction so the momentum is going in an opposite direction so here's the initial momentum let's do it a little bit higher initial momentum it's 40 and the momentum decreases as the velocity decreases to a momentum which is to a momentum which is what which is 20 in an opposite direction remember this is an opposite direction so that's the momentum there so this momentum here is what it's 20 remember guys here it's the time taken for the debt and um, and the arrows to be in contact and here in this in this part here you can get the change in momentum you can get the change in momentum let's say you were given the graph guys they say calculate the change in momentum so how are you going to calculate the change in momentum you will say change in p is equal to p final minus p initial so what is your p final your p final is negative 20 this is your p final and this is your p initial so you say negative 20 minus minus what 40 your initial is 40 here 
So it's going to be what? Negative 60 kg meter per second. So you see the change in momentum, it's negative. Here, if they want the change in velocity, if they want the change in velocity, you say delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. V final is what? It's negative 10 minus the V initial 20 is equal to negative 30 kg meters per second. So it's change in velocity. It's in the opposite direction. So it's not kg meters per second. It's 30 meter per second, which is it's 30 meters per second to the left. Here it's 60 kg meters per second to the left. So in this graph, the change in momentum is going in that direction. Even the change in velocity is going in that direction to the left. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, it's about the graph of momentum. Um, and um, graph of momentum. Please do not forget to subscribe on my channel and like and share with your friends and families. Bye.